friend this is shomik vishwas and you are attending my class of that circuit theory today you are attending the fifth class of that two port network and our today's topic is the interconnection of two two port or many two port networks so many more type of combinations are such there so today's topic is the interconnection of two or more two port network so it is also a uh, easy part <coughs> how to do this number one different type of such connections are available so number one is called series connection in the series connection what you have to do suppose this is one two port this is a this is another two port this is b now they are having in this way they are having their paths now if it is series connected so that is one this two is connected with this and these two are connected in this way so if this is v1a that is v2a so if this is v1b that is v2b okay so what is the process you have to follow so the first case you know that v1a equals to z11a i1 a plus z12 a i2 a again v uh, v1 b equals to z11 b i1 b plus z12 b i2 b so the first equation the second equation is v2a plus 2z21 i1 here it is z21a i1a plus z22b i2b and v2b equals to z21 b i 1 b plus z 2 2 b i uh, sorry it should be a all this and it should be b i 2 b hmm. now as you can see that all of them are the series combinations the same current is flowing so therefore v1 a v1 b if you are adding them up so obviously this i1 a and i1 b is same because the same current is flowing so they can be additives therefore that v1 a plus v1 b equals to that is z11 z11 b so it is z11 a plus z11 b into as a whole it is i1 plus in the same way i2 a and i2 b is same so z12 a plus z12 b equals to into i2 so therefore it is equals to v1 so v1 equals to z11 
so summation of a to b i1 plus summation a to b z1 to i2 and v2 equals to the summation of a to b z21 i1 plus summation of a to b z22 i2 so it is z22 a and z22 b it is z21 a plus z21 b in this way you have to take the summation so that is a corresponding parameters now the second part we can have that is number two that is parallel parallel combination so in that parallel combination what you have to do that two network like this number one and number two and that is their ports because they are the two ports network so the first one is joined with first one the second one is joined with second one here the first one is joined with the first one and the second one corresponding to join the second one okay now here that node voltage is common okay so if it is VA then it is VB so it is A it is B so what type of network what type of two port network we have to use right here here you can see that the current is dividing itself say if it is i a current i a current it is just dividing itself in this two section okay so it is i a dust it is i a double dust now if this current is i b so i b is also taking two part one is i b dust another is here i b double test okay so what type of parameter we should use here there must be one y parameter why because in that y parameter we can write that v a equals to y11 a i so it is v a y11 a into i i of that a test plus y12 a to i b test okay now in the other case that is V A we did it so if it is a V B so what is V B that is Y two one A that is um, uh, it is I dust A and uh, what is V B in the sense that is y21 a plus y22 a and the same thing will be resting i a test i b test now if you are taking the second case so it will be same that here again y11 a instead of this you should write y11 b and another is y12 b in the next case it is y21 b y22 b okay so as you know that combination of these two is this as a whole i1 a and i1 b we will give the enter i1 so what is i1 a that is i1 b so actually 
uh, this is what I had to write this particular one is misleading say I'm very sorry for this actually you should use that y parameter so what is the y matrix it is started with i1 and i2 so i1 i1 a or i a i wrote it here i a the first current the second current is i a dash the second port current is i b and i b dash so it is our i1 it is our i2 so i a dash into y 1 1 a plus i2 so it is i b dash y 1 2 uh, y 1 2 a again it is this is for uh, v a again that is v1 instead of i for 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 I'm extremely sorry this is not that this is not oh, oh. this is not that actually if you're writing that i parameter it should be in terms of i so it should be i a dash equals to y11 a and v a plus y12 plus y12 a bb and that is ib dash equals to y21 a va plus y22 uh, sorry it, it, this is 2 1 b and this is 2 2 b v b okay that is i a that is i b dash so in terms of a network we can write this equation again that is i 1 a double dash i a double dash equals to y 1 1 b v a plus y 1 2 b v b and i b double dash equals to y 2 1 uh, y so the y 2 1 that is b network so 2 1 b v a plus y 2 2 b v b so here all are a it should be a and it should be a so it is y11 a b a plus y12 a b b this is y21 a b a y22 b b so these two current these two currents are additive so what is the final current i a i a equals to i a dash plus i a double dash so i a dash means this i a double dash means this so we are taking b a common so it should be y11 a plus y11 b into b a plus y21 a plus y21 b into b b so this is the output so what is the final output of this network it is a summation of y11 a to b again summation of y12 a to b again the summation of y21 summation of y22 a to b so this is a case of parallel combination you have to find out now the next one is number three this is called the cascade cascade connection so in the cascade connection actually the output is connected to one input of the next network so it is the first one that is the second one so this is the first one that is the second one so this is joined with this this one so this is network a this is network b so we have to use in such case you can see that v2x equals to v1x 
i2 x equals to i1 x so here is a function of v2 and i2 and v1 and i1 so please use that abcd parameter for this so for a what is that is v a here we can write that is 1 it is 2 so it is v of 1 a v 1 a into i 1 a that is equals to a b c d v 2 a minus i 2 a so what is actually that i2 is flowing in this way so i1 is flowing in the reverse way so i2 equals to minus i1 you have to put it so finally for this circuit what is output coming as v1 a equals to a v2 a minus b i2 a what is i1 a equals to c v2 a minus d i2 a that is the case of this now in the second hand side it will be this again we can write that v1 b equals to a v 2 b minus b i 2 b so i 1 b equals to c v 2 b minus d i 2 b now here one relation it can be easily interpreted that the relation is what that they are multiplicative in nature why because see v1 b and i1 b there is i2 where it is v2 so that i2 v2 this v2 and i2 it will be connected as v1 i1 hmm, of that particular network so it is a b c d 1 we better write it as a1 b1 c1 d1 so as you know that that v 2 a minus i 2 a this is equals to v 1 b i 1 b so are they equal to each other so actually if you are starting calculating from that side so v 1 a v 1 a and i 1 a this particular part is equals to a b c d and this part this part is equals to this so it can be again given as so it is so for uh, in b part actually we are considering this a1 b1 c1 d1 so we should not take it for the first part keep it just as usual so it should be a1 b1 c1 d1 of that v 2 b minus i 2 b so this particular part is the all total so whenever the two network are in the cascaded form they are always multiplicative so besides that one more things are there this is called number four that is called that series parallel and the fifth is parallel series so in that C is parallel and the parallel series combination what happens say eh? so 
suppose two network if given in this way number one and number two so the input is in the form of series okay but the output is not like this so if the lines are there so the first one is connected the second one is connected and you have to find out the parameter say it is a it is b so how to do this so if you are using if it is va if it is vb so the input current is same so if i am using h parameters for that particular circuit so i should write in this way that v1 i2 that is in the form of h11 h12 h21 h22 in the form of i1 v2 so this form of i1 and v2 so finally this circuit is evaluated i1 and v2 so here please see this if i write this for v1a so here it is i2 v1a here the current is i1 i1 is same for the second one so the second one we should this is v1a i2a that is i1a v2a in the second case we should write that v um, this is one so it is v1b i2b equals to here it is all a here we should write that h11 a this all are a and here it is b h11 h2b h21b and h22b and the rest is i 1b and v 2 b hope you can cannot see this last part that is i 1 b and v 2 b in this way so here if you are seeing this so here that i 2 a and i 2 b so what is i 2 a so the current for a that is i 2 a and what is i 2 b so it is i to b so i to a and i to b they are basically coming from a single source i2 and that v1 and v2 that is v1 a and v1 b are commutative means they are additives in nature so what should i write for this if you are taking this v1 and v2 so here that is v2 a b 2 a is common for this so h11 b and here this second term is i1 a i1 a is common for this so, i1 a equals to i1 b we should write that i1 a equals to i1 b and v2 a equals to v2 b because they are the parallel combination so therefore we can write that if you are adding them up so v1 equals to v1 a plus v1 b that is equals to h11 a plus h11 b and that is of i1 and plus h that is h 1 to a plus h 1 to b that v2 you have to write this is as v2 you can follow perhaps this is this is v2 as you can say this is v2 h 1 to a h 1 to b that is v2 and that is 1 so finally the hybrid parameters for the series parallel network as h11 a plus h11 b is the new h11 ok
okay so in this way you have to add all these type of things now the last one is also listed this is called the parallel series so parallel series this combination is just the reverse of that particular type of network so what is the intercommunication connection that here one network here another network so we have to use them in this way that the first connection the second connection and this is the third connection so this is in from this region that is parallel and from this region it is series so we have to use the g parameters for this and finally we can write that g equivalent equals to summation of g a to b as a whole so g11 g12 in this way we have to find out h11 is a g11 a plus g11 b plus to g equivalent or g11 equivalent in this way you have to find out g11 g12 and so on so these are the all short of examples how to convert that see this parallel character series and if you are using that in a series parallel parallel series combination this is your final result so you can easily convert this h parameter to the z parameter or y parameters and we can easily find out what are the series parallel combination for Z network, what is the parallel series combination for Y network, because we have to convert that final stage. Otherwise, whatever the question, it can be given same. So that's all for the today's lecture. So in future, many more classes I will add in my lecture series to give you more numerical example on the two-port network. But two-port network is the easiest thing. Always keep in mind that you have to find out the value as per your preference any type of network then just convert it to the first one what type of question being asked if it is asked the z parameter you have to find out you are seeing that without using the z parameter if you can easily solve it by using y parameter so please solve it by using y parameters after that convert y to z your answer is done so don't try to recapture it don't try to swallow all this value please try to find out what is the corresponding value y to z, z to y. So please do a lot of practice in this way and find out the final answer. Thank you very much. See you in the early class. The next class, my subject will be that the nature of the coupling. So what is the coupled circuit and what is the nature of it? How the coupling has met, what is the dot convention, etc. It will be the topic on my last lecture. Thank you very much. And the two quarters ended for this.